Yo, what's up everybody? It's Mizan, and we're about to break down some serious travel anxieties. Phuket, Thailand beaches, temples, incredible food. It's a dream destination, but like any trip, you're gonna run into some worries. Are the rumors true? Is it as dangerous as people say? Look, I get it. That's why I'm here to set the record straight. We're diving deep into seven common Phuket worries you can totally forget about, and three real issues you gotta watch out for. Let's go! All right, let's talk about motorbikes. Yeah, they're everywhere in Phuket. They look super fun to zip around on, don't they? But hold your horses, speed racer. Unless you're basically Valentino Rossi on two wheels, renting a motorbike in Phuket is a recipe for disaster. The roads here are no joke, seriously. They're often narrow, winding, and full of surprises. Think potholes, sudden stops, crazy drivers, you name it. The traffic? Chaotic, especially during peak season. It's a whole different beast than what you're probably used to back home. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to ride a motorbike in Phuket. If you're an experienced rider, confident in your skills, and you've got the right license, go for it. But for most travelers, it's just not worth the risk. Instead, play it safe. Public transport in Phuket is cheap and easy to use, with plenty of options. Trust me, your peace of mind is worth way more than saving a few bucks. Enjoy your trip without the stress. Phuket's beaches are legendary, but the ocean? That's a different story. We're talking about Mother Nature here, and she demands respect. Most of the year, the water is crystal clear, perfect for swimming, snorkeling, all that good stuff. But from May to October, things get a little wild. Monsoon season rolls in, bringing strong winds, heavy rain, and gnarly waves. We're talking towering walls of water, powerful rip currents. Always check the local weather conditions before you even think about going for a dip. Look out for those lifeguard flags on the beach. Red flags mean danger, stay out of the water. Yellow flags mean caution. Swim only if you're a strong swimmer and stick close to the shore. And hey, if you're ever unsure, just ask a local. Listen up, because this next one's important. Phuket's amazing, but just like any popular tourist spot, it's got its fair share of scams. The island's beauty and charm can sometimes mask the darker side of tourism. And trust me, these guys are good. They know exactly how to blend in and wait for the perfect moment to strike. They can sniff out a tourist from a mile away. The moment you step off the plane, you're a potential target. The most common one you'll hear about is the infamous jet ski scam. It's notorious and has caught many unsuspecting tourists off guard. You rent a jet ski, you're cruising along, having a blast, and then bam. You return it and suddenly there's a mysterious scratch or a dent that wasn't there before. It's like magic, but not the good kind. Next thing you know, you're being pressured into paying for expensive repairs. The operators can be very persuasive and intimidating. It's a classic and it happens all the time. Many tourists fall for it thinking they have no other choice. But here's the thing, it's easily avoidable. A little caution can go a long way in protecting yourself. Go with a reputable company, check online reviews, ask your hotel for recommendations. They often know the best and safest options. And before you even get on that jet ski, take pictures, videos, document any existing damage. This can save you a lot of trouble later. Another common scam to watch out for is the taxi overcharging scam. It's frustrating, but avoidable with the right steps. Always make sure the driver turns on the meter or agree on a price beforehand. This simple step can prevent a lot of headaches. Chapter four, chill out. The truth about ice in your drinks. All right, let's talk about something a little less intense. Ice, I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but you'd be surprised how many people freak out about the ice in their drinks when they travel. Is the water safe? Am I going to get sick? Listen, I hear you, but here's the deal. In Phuket, you can chill out about the ice. Most restaurants, bars, and hotels use commercially produced ice. We're talking filtered, purified water, the good stuff. Your stomach will thank you. Chapter five, money matters. Exchanging currency in Phuket. Let's get down to brass tax money. Specifically, exchanging your hard-earned cash for some Thai bot. Now, you've got a couple of options here. You can exchange your money before you even leave home, which can be convenient, but usually comes with higher fees and not so great exchange rates. 
Or you can do what I recommend and wait till you get to Phuket. Seriously, you'll get a much better deal exchanging your money locally. Just bring enough cash to get you from the airport to your hotel. Once you're settled, you'll find tons of currency exchange counters all over Phuket. Another great option is to use ATMs. Chapter 6. Lost in Translation, The Language Barrier Myth So you're worried about the language barrier? Totally understandable. You're in a foreign country, everyone's speaking Thai, and you're over here like Sawasdi crap? It can feel overwhelming at first. But honestly, you'll be surprised how easy it is to get by in Phuket, even if you don't speak a lick of Thai. The locals are used to tourists. Phuket's a major tourist destination, which means English is pretty widely spoken, especially in the touristy areas like Patong, Karon, Kata. You won't feel lost. You'll find English menus at most restaurants, English signs in shops, and most hotel staff speak English fluently. It's very accommodating. Thai people are incredibly friendly and helpful. They have a welcoming nature. They'll go out of their way to understand you, even if it means using a bit of sign language or pulling out Google Translate. Communication is key. And hey, if you really want to impress the locals, learn a few basic Thai phrases. It can make your experience richer. It shows you're making an effort and they'll appreciate it. A little effort goes a long way in building connections. All right, let's talk about the weather because let's be real, nobody wants to be stuck inside during their tropical vacation. Now, if you've ever checked the weather forecast for Phuket, you might have noticed something a little strange. It seems like it's always raining, but here's the thing. Don't trust everything you see on the internet. Phuket's weather is a fickle beast, but it's rarely as bad as the forecast makes it seem. Yeah, you might get some rain, especially during the low season, which is from May to October. But it's often short-lived, like a quick afternoon shower that clears up in time for a stunning sunset. The best time to visit Phuket for guaranteed sunshine is during the high season, which runs from November to April. But honestly, even during the low season, you're likely to have plenty of sunny days to enjoy the beaches. Okay, time to get real for a second. While most of the worries about Phuket are overblown, there's one thing you definitely don't want to mess around with, healthcare. Look, accidents happen, people get sick, it's just a fact of life. And while Phuket has excellent healthcare facilities with international standard hospitals and clinics, it's not something you want to leave to chance. Here's the deal, make sure you have travel insurance. And I'm not talking about some basic plan that barely covers a sniffle. Get yourself a comprehensive policy that covers medical expenses, emergency evacuation, the whole nine yards. Trust me, it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, I'm not saying you should spend your entire trip worrying about getting sick. Just be prepared. And if you do need medical attention, don't panic. Let's be real, Phuket's nightlife is legendary. We're talking beach clubs, rooftop bars, nightclubs that go till dawn. It's a wild time. But here's the thing. Phuket's nightlife scene is diverse. You've got everything from family-friendly bars with live music to, well, let's just say places that are a little more intense. Now, if you're looking for a wild night out, Bangla Road in Patong is where it's at. But be warned, it's not for the faint of heart. Think go-go bars, loud music, and a whole lot of, shall we say, interesting characters. If that's not really your scene, don't worry. There are plenty of other places to enjoy a more laid-back evening. All right, I know I already touched on this, but it's worth repeating. Motorbike accidents are one of the biggest risks for tourists in Phuket. Seriously, it's no joke. The combination of inexperienced riders, chaotic traffic, and sometimes hazardous road conditions can be a recipe for disaster. So if you're dead set on renting a motorbike, please, please, please be careful. Wear a helmet, always. And I'm not talking about some flimsy half helmet. Get yourself a proper full-face helmet that will actually protect your head. Familiarize yourself with the local traffic laws. And most importantly, drive defensively. Don't drink and drive, don't speed, and be extra cautious at night. So there you have it. Seven Phuket worries you can totally forget about and three real issues to watch out for. Phuket is an incredible destination. And with a little preparation and awareness, you can have an amazing worry-free trip. So go ahead, 
Book that ticket, pack your bags, and get ready for an unforgettable adventure in the land of smiles. And hey, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more travel tips and destination guides. Safe travels.